This next team, though, quite excited to speak about because friend of the podcast, Franco Colapinto, and slight bias from me, but one of the stars of the season, star of the season for Franco, star of the season for VAR, I'd say as well, coming into this and actually adding some competitiveness. And in all fairness, Risu Shijima, podium as well, was getting decent points. Um, Rafael Villagomez, possibly not the same level as the other two, but in terms of getting, we just mentioned HWA, in terms of replacing a team, VAR, Josh, they've done so well this year. It wasn't a championship push, which I don't think anybody expected in their first year, but 91 points, P6 in the standings, two sprint race victories, not so bad at all. Well, if you're going to have any team come in and do well in the Formula 3 championship, it would be Van Amersfoort, wouldn't mm-hmm. it? They sort of know what they're doing with Formula 3 cars, even if this is different from what they've ever run. <clears throat> but I'll get these two support acts out of the way. It's kind of a bit uh, a bit sort of harsh to say, but Villa Gomez was never really here or there, you know? Like, I can't say he had some glimpses of speed. Like, he just... Well, he's not quite that guy, you know what I mean? Like he's high point of, of a... high point of P nine in Imola. Just looking through his results, otherwise, yeah, fourteen, no, twelfth was his highest. I wouldn't necessarily say he's slow, but mm, he's not the best out of all of them. Ishima had his moments for sure, like, and he's shown that he can drive, which is you know quite cool, I guess. But all right, Franco, um. When he came here for TRS uh, a couple of years ago, like fighting against the M2 competitions in the Kiwi Motorsport car, it's just like you could see this kid was fast, like <clears throat> genuinely talented kid. Uh, and I just wanted to see him try and go for um, the upper echelons of motor racing. There was the continual problem of budget, but still I was like, well, I'd just like to see him try out Formula 3 and Formula 2. And he came in Formula 3 and with VAR, it's like, <clears throat> well, we'll see how he does. Easily one of the best drivers this year. Easily one of the best. Um, <clears throat> and, you know, it's just, again, I can't praise him enough. Like, I'm a massive believer in Colapinto. Like, if you were to ask me, okay, pick a driver that you want to back all the way to go to Formula One, it'd probably be him. Hmm. You know, like people are like, oh, what about Kimi Antonelli and stuff like that? Well, they've got backing first off, but more just, yeah, you just see how good Cole Pinto is. You can see what he drags out of the car. You see the performances that he puts in, the results that he gets. He's always there, you know, like even if VAR quite, aren't quite there on the weekend. Um. <clears throat> again, I, I, I can wax lyrical for ages, but I'll just be rambling on about just how great he is, you know? Um, I, think, I think at this point of the podcast, two appearances in from Colapinto, such a nice guy, really, really like him. And you're right, for coming in as a rookie, going through two wins, two third places, second place, outscored Smolja in the championship, P9 in the end. I do echo those thoughts. If an academy team is looking for picking up a driver to have some sort of backing. Colapinto, I think, is the standout driver at the moment who doesn't have that backing. Yeah, Michael, easily. sorry, I was going to pass over to you, Josh, there. I'll uh, <laughs> put my opinion <laughs> yeah, as the host. Okay. Okay. I mean, I've, I've, said, I've said my piece. Uh, Franco, again, one of the best drivers of the year, you know? May not have gone in contention for, cha- in contention for the championship. He doesn't need to. You know, it's not all about who finishes at the top. It's just about the performances you put in. And yeah, I, I can't say anything more. Like, I think I've, I think I've said all I need to say really. And everyone sort of gets the gist of what my thoughts on Franco is. So have another year in formula in formula three, um, which team exactly? I'm not sure. I just want to see him in a team that would give him a crack at the title because, you know, he deserves that much. And whatever championship-worthy team gets him, they're going to get a driver that can go for the title. So, yeah, uh, hopefully, hopefully next year brings good fortune for him.